Hey there, today I'm going to be covering the topic of Switch films, and hopefully I'll be able to help show you some of the overlooked basics. I think of doing Switch mods as like adding salt or condiments to your chips. Sure, you can enjoy the fried potatoes plain and without the extras, but you always can appreciate the additional depth adding stuff to your meal does. And I think that's what Switch filming is like. So very briefly, with Switches you have Stem Wobble and Housing Wobble both of which end up playing into keycap wobble. The mod we do tightens the overall housing by having the top piece pull away from the bottom. This ultimately removes a lot of the randomness from the stem's movements whenever you type. But we can't say that filming removes stem wobble completely, because that's dependent on a few factors out of our control. Different menus make switches to different specs and therefore have different tolerances, like for example cherry stems are actually made smaller than Gatoron stems. If you have more wobble room as well, you'll have a smoother feeling switch because there's less friction and therefore overall there's less resistance. Now, I want to discuss what it means for a switch to have tight housing, because you see this phrase thrown around quite a lot, and people will go, X switch does not benefit from filming, the housing is tight enough already. But I want to explore whether or not this is a reasonable claim. You can decide this for yourself based on the footage I'm going to show you of switches in an actual plate, in an actual keyboard. Now, creams, otomus, pandas, and navies all have been mentioned to have tight housing, but from these clips, do you still think that tight housing should be used as a blanket statement to mean you don't need to film these switches? I'm going to quickly mention it, but otomu tops are really good at reducing stem wobble, it's just unfortunate that there's not much compatibility out there. Chances are, if you're watching this video, you don't really have much experience with many films. The current most esteemed films on the markets are TX and Deskies, which I've placed on the left. And on the right, I have the thinnest and thickest variants you can find available. I don't have any 3D printed films, but instead I'm using a material that's around 0.23mm. And this is how they look out of the packet. TX films, a thicker variant, Deskies, and some vinyl. I wanted to give us an idea as to the thickness of each, and rather than telling you and having you believe me, I'll just show you the footage of me measuring the films. For reference, printer paper is around 0.1mm. With the desk keys, sure it's sold as a 0.3mm film, but realistically, it won't actually take up 0.3mm of space in a switch, just because of the material and how it compresses. So out of curiosity, I squished one down to see how low it would go, and this gives us a range of what to expect. So, to reiterate, switches more often than not have housing wobble in their stock form. But, what can you expect when you want to film a switch? Like, do all the variants install the same, or are some easier to install than others? Well, if you look at each film being installed, the thicker and TX variant hold their shape nicely, whereas the desk key and vinyl are a bit flimsy and harder to get into position. For a casual modder, this stuff won't really ruin your overall experience. But say, if you're someone who mods switches as a service or just want to do things really fast, 
The extra time it takes for the softer variants might annoy you. Thicker variants will require an extra bit of attention to make sure the tops clip down properly. However, it should be noted that some switches won't actually accept a thicker film. Something not really shown or talked about is what happens when you open up a switch that already has a film in it. Because inevitably when you're switch modding, you'll have to open up a few switches because they just don't seem right. Most films overhang a bit off the side and they get caught on the clips of the switch tops. If you're too careless or too rough with opening the switch up, the film may launch off and the film now being on the top of the housing will mean you'll have to take an extra bit of time to take it off the top and put it back on the base and realign it. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but in all those clips, it was actually the same switch, just different films, meaning I had to open it up numerous times. Granted, this is an exaggerated example because I've used the switch quite heavily, but the switch tops will become less tight once you open them. Does this consequently mean if you're opening a switch to lube it, you're bending the clips outwards and therefore should actually kind of compensate by filming? It's worth mentioning here, box switches aren't the best for modifications, and they're designed differently to MX style switches, so your films won't actually work. If you want to do a mod, why do you actually want to do it? Like, what are you actually trying to achieve, and is there any real value in it? I'm going to do a very brief segment on sound, because I personally see it as like a soft attribute that doesn't really affect typing usability. I'd personally be more attentive towards quality, feel, and the performance of a switch, rather than how it could sound in a board. There are way more important things to play into a keyboard's acoustics, and you're not going to make a KBD fan's board sound like a Teha sound test. Anyway, you know how drums have like tension in the material? Well, I have three different tapes with three different amounts of tension here. So, here's the sound test. So, in what situation wouldn't I want to use Switch Films? Ultimately, it's your decision whether or not you think that the benefits of films are worthwhile. Maybe you're indifferent to housing wobble and acoustics, and maybe you've never used a stock Switch before and don't intend to. Maybe you can never buy or try things because they're never in stock. When you add some films to your Switch, the top housing is displaced ever so slightly, so you'll get an additional bit of pre-travel. If you're attentive enough, you might notice this, otherwise it's pretty minute. Also mentioned previously, thicker films will be a bit more difficult to install on your switch. You may find the tops don't actually clip down and switches become hard or impossible to fit into your plate. Honestly, if I can suggest something, it's just get a heap of film variants for yourself to experiment with. It's a lot easier and more useful than asking around or searching the internet for vague answers. Like you could watch a video of someone fondling cream switches in their hands and tell you they don't wobble, but when you actually put it in a keyboard, they do wobble. So, take everything on the internet with a grain of salt. Like, there's no punishment for making any bad content, especially if your content's the only content available. Anyway, here's a few more demonstrations of popular switches in their stock form, and with films. At the end of the video, I have a compilation of many different stock switches where I show off how much housing wobble there is. Ideally, this gives you a better understanding as to which switches would benefit from filming, and the footage means you can make your own presumptions.